Hi, welcome to Now Testing Products. So today I'm going to give you guys an update on what's been going on with the sound problem that I have with the new Alienware M18X laptop that I've had for about two and a half to three months now. Now if you're a subscriber to my channel, just bear with me here for a second as I'm just going to do a recap on what's been going on for my new viewers that are seeing this video and haven't seen my other videos yet on this particular problem. I purchased this laptop back in June and it took about six weeks to receive it. Now August the 1st I was doing a review on this particular product for you guys so you guys can see how it performed and what actually came on this product i.e. sound card, graphics card and everything else when I found that it had a sound problem. Now I decided to give the product a very low rating and a lot of my viewers have sent me nasty emails saying that's not fair I'm only giving the Alienware M18X a 1 out of 10 and I actually would like to just clarify that I actually wasn't giving the product itself the Alienware M18X laptop a 1 I was giving the product that was sent to me a 1 basically saying that the product should have been tested before it was sent to me. Now I understand not every company, electronics company, tests all their products before they send them out the door. This laptop is a high-end laptop. It's not a $300 laptop. It's kind of like a Mercedes slash BMW and I've had people send me emails saying they spent three to four thousand dollars upgrading their Alienware M18X laptop and they're not happy with it and I actually think that Alienware before they send out this particular machine should test them all now whether they do or don't that's their choice but receiving this product being defective I was a little bit upset as it is quite a big ordeal to have it fixed or send it back this is now two and a half months later and I'm still sitting here with this product defective just so that you can see how long it's actually taken to get fixed I actually had two choices because I was within my 21 day period I could cancel my order send it back wait for them to cancel my order because they'd only do that once they received the product then I would have to go online reorder the laptop and wait another six weeks I wasn't willing to do that so I decided to go with option two and that was have one of their tech support people actually come to my house and fix the problem I thought I would give them a try now the first time around they came out they came out with a large box of parts not just the speakers because while taking apart the M18X laptop the technician hadn't worked on one yet he broke several parts and he did replace them but kind of made me a little bit apprehensive about having my laptop taken apart while watching them break parts. We had tested the speakers for about three or four seconds and they seemed to work at that present time. Now I use a USB headset 99.9% .9 of the time so since the speakers had been replaced I hadn't really used them and while doing an edit of one of my videos I decided to use the speakers that are in the M18X laptop and no sound came out. This was about six weeks after they had been fixed. I tried everything to get them to work. I even tried upgrading the um, sound drivers. I called Alienware again. Their tech support guy patched into my laptop. He tried to fix everything. He couldn't get it to work. So again, they decided to send out another technician. That technician came out again with a big box of parts and ripped the laptop apart, replaced the speakers. Again, there was nothing. Before we actually got sound for about three or four seconds, this time we actually got nothing. He had put the laptop back together and called his office to try and get some more tech support from his people and they wanted him to rip it apart again, which they did. They ripped it apart again. He looked at a couple other things. Uh, we went over some other problems that may have been a problem because I have 
a lot of emails sent to me all the time about this particular problem. People giving me suggestions on what I could do to try and fix it. And well, one of them was I may have a cold solder problem. We looked at that as a possible problem. And at this point, it just looks like it's a motherboard problem. The technician had spent three hours at my house. He hadn't had dinner yet. It was nine o'clock at night and he was pretty much tired and he was done with the product and said to me, if, if he were me, he'd be sending it back to Alienware and telling him, I want a new laptop, especially when you've paid $2,400 for it. He actually called Alienware at nine o'clock at night because being a tech support guy, he was able to get through to them as customers can't and had me on the phone with Alienware's head office there and I fought with them on the phone for about 40 minutes getting them to try to replace the laptop and at that present time they weren't willing to do that all they were willing to do was again rip it apart again and try and fix it they actually wanted me to even send it to their depot which I wasn't comfortable with it was bad enough that somebody was in my house ripping my laptop apart in front of me and breaking it in front of me at least I could see what they were breaking and I could make sure that it was fixed to my standards being brand new when he was done but sending the laptop to a depot where I didn't know what was going on I wasn't comfortable with that and I explained that to them that I was not comfortable sending a brand new laptop to some depot that I didn't know who they were or what they were gonna do at that time, he spoke to his manager in the background, came back on the phone and said they weren't going to replace the computer for me. Basically, send it to the depot or have another technician come out and replace whatever part was broken. So then I had him put a call in to a head head manager at Alienware, which took about four or five days for them to get back to me. I was almost ready to call Alienware because they informed me that it would only take 24 to 48 hours for them to get back to me. And it actually took a lot longer than that. But they eventually did get back to me. Um, I fought with them on the phone for a little bit. Basically letting them know the only option they had was to replace the defective computer as it has been defective for two and a half to three months now has never been brand new from day one and they also continue to keep putting refurbished parts into the laptop i.e. not being brand new as it should have been from day one and I wasn't going to settle for anything less also letting them know that if they hadn't done that for me that I would just basically take legal action and then we can deal with it from there not wanting to do that I was presuming that they had decided at that point to go ahead and actually do the exchange. Today's September the 12th, 2011, and they're now going ahead and they're sending out a brand new M18X laptop to replace this one. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to find out how long it actually takes them to do that. I'm going to keep you guys informed when it actually does come. I know everybody else has already done an unboxing video of this particular machine, but I'm going to do an unboxing video again anyways, just showing you guys that I actually did receive it, what condition I received it in. I'm going to turn it on for you guys so you guys can see it. And then I'm going to do another video showing you guys how the games play on it and how this game actually performs. As I keep getting a lot of emails, people that play different games and I actually have a wide range of uh, selection here on different games Call of Duty 4, Crisis. everyone keeps asking me how do those games play on it um, one problem in particular with Call of Duty 4 is a file problem it's called I, IW3MP.exe it actually after playing the game it actually causes the game to crash and it says IW3MP.exe has stopped working I find that it is actually it's an integrated sound problem uh, Dell likes to use integrated sound chips by Realtek and that seems to be having a conflict the drivers with Realtek integrated sound chips clash with Call of Duty 4 I'll also be testing a lot of other games. I'm uh, going to be testing Call of Duty Black Ops on this machine. See if that problem still occurs or if it's just a simple Call of Duty 4 problem. 
and let you guys know how all that turns out. So if you got any other questions that you want to know about the new Alienware M18X laptop, or if you have found a fix for the IW3MP.exe file, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my video so that you can stay connected with what's been going on with this particular product. And you can see me test a wide range of other products that I'd like to test and show you guys how they work. Stay tuned. There will be more updates on this. And thanks for watching.